Hey everybody, this is Troy with Ebo Central. Today we're taking a look at Absolute Linux. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. And if you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description down below. Absolute Linux. It's based on Slackware. I believe it's using the ICE Window Manager. Now, I do want to show you something. I want to apologize right off the bat for the resolution. I have went up to the display, screen settings, resolution, 1920 by 1080. I hit apply. It says you cannot turn off all monitors. Otherwise, you will not be able to turn them on again. So it will not let me change the resolution. So I apologize for the way it looks, but we'll get a definite look and overview of it. And we're probably having these problems because it is in a virtual machine. So let's go ahead and close out of this. First thing I want to do is zip over to their website, absolutelinux.org. And Absolute is a 64-bit Linux distribution, and it's based upon Slackware. It concentrates on desktop use so that it's ready for internet, multimedia, document, and general home use out of the box. Absolute is lightweight, meaning two things, that it can be run on a modest hardware and that the OS interface stays out of your way. And then you go down and they've got some news, and it's a very straightforward website, not a lot of flashiness, just going to give you the information. They're not going to do a lot of dog and pony shows for you. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. That is Chromium. It comes out of the box with. There is your background. Let's go ahead and do a right click. You can open, open in rocks, X terms here, arrange icons, desktop settings. Let's go to desktop settings and see what we got. We have that background. Do they have anything different? Let's try that one. Let's go ahead and open, click OK, and it changes it to that. So you do have some different backgrounds you can use. Down at the bottom, you do have a panel. You can tile it vertically, horizontally, cascade. So I guess you can just change those things up if you want to, and it goes away. That's pretty interesting. I'm going to be honest. I haven't dealt with ICE Window Manager much. But you got the bottom panel. If you want it out of your way, you just click this little arrow and it goes away. And then you click it and it comes back. And then you got your clock. And then, of course, battery. Then I believe that is your sound settings. So you can adjust those up or down on your master sound. That's pretty impressive. I like that. And then you do have your internet connection right here. And then over here, you've got file manager, I do believe. Let's click on that. So I believe this is called space file manager. It's pretty basic file manager. You've got your file system here. You can shorten that up and then have everything over here. You can go to your main root file system. And then I think you can resize that down. So you've just got your base file manager for you to get things done and stay out of your way. You've got Chromium, which we already looked at. Let's go ahead and open up the terminal. And there is the terminal. Let's see if they have HTOP. They do have HTOP installed out of the box. And I have this machine issued four CPUs and three gigabytes of RAM. Now, at rest, we're less than 1% on the CPU, and your RAM, it, wow, we are using 252 megs of the three gigs that I have issued to it. So that is definitely lightweight, and if that's what you're looking for, Absolute Linux has definitely got it. So let's go ahead and close back out of that. We'll go to the start menu. You've got the control center, which I had opened a while ago for the displays, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. You've got system. You've got about Absolute. Let's click on it. It's version 15, 64-bit. It is a Slackware modification. Absolute software packages are usually version compatible with Slackware packages, so you can build and borrow from among the various Slackware communities. That's awesome, and it shows you where the repository exists at, and then if you want to give feedback. So we'll close out of that. Run services, system monitor, change password, language hard drives. Then you've got applications, calendars and reminders, display multimedia let's go back to display real quick screen settings we tried desktop settings let's look at that again you've got general you can do large icons you can change your background and then your terminal let's close out of that then your gtk theme set i guess you got to download some of those for that to work multimedia you got audio devices you got alsa mixer multimedia extras network printing software Add and remove packages. Let's click on that and see what it brings up. You're attempting to run an administrative program. Please enter the root password to proceed. So I will. And if you're using this on a USB or in a virtual box, the root password would be live, L-I-V-E. That may be something that needs to be installed after you install it. So we're going to move on. Hardware, system information, disk space, memory usage. Close out of that. 
Go back down here, add and remove software, password live. There we go. Add and remove packages, and it shows you your installed packages right here. Then you can click on it, and it will give you the package info down here. Or you can install a package. So if you've downloaded a package in a TXZ format, you can install it from here. So, okay. So the package manager will work, but you have to access it through the menu, which is right there. And then system tools. You can set your GTK theme, set default web browser, system font, change password, system information, about absolute, running processes, system info, memory, audio. You have Asunder, Audacious, Audacity, Pulse Audio, Alsa Mixer, Editors. You got HTML page, Site Text Editor, External Education. You got Calibre, Ebook Editor, Ebook Viewer, Games, Export, Eboard. Geography, Google Earth, GPXC, graphics, display, ebook, font page, full screenshot, Inkscape, network. You've got Chromium, of course, FileZilla, GR Sync, Get Mail Quick, Office. You have the Libre Office Suite, which is 6.1. So that is an older Office Suite, but it is definitely stable. Video. You've got Clip Grab, Kodi, SM Player, Simple Screen Recorder, Webcam, Stream Tuner. Utilities, drive info and formatting, ISO master, connect an Android device, documentation, file finder. So you enter name or partial name to find a file. Choose the directory. Okay, so you got a file search there. Shut down, settings, and log out. If you're looking for something that's really light and you want to get work done and you don't want anything to get in your way, not even the desktop, Absolute Linux is definitely something to look at. I mean, what do you think about Absolute Linux? Would you give it a shot? Would you download it? Would you try to use it as a daily driver? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go today, do me a big favor. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next video.